It is the 19th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Hope everybody's doing well today. Over to SOT.net, Columbia increased activity reported at Ciro Machin Volcano. This was confirmed by the Columbian Geological Survey, which indicated that at least uh, in the last week, uh, the volcano seismically continued to show vol volcan volcanic type, which is associated with rock fracturing within the volcanic ephedus. And uh, they're expecting an interruption. Southern India shivers seven die in AP, uh, coldest in 100 years. And uh, this has been ongoing in India uh, for quite a while. They had that freezing fog and it uh, just seems like it's non-stop. Toxic crash of Phobos Grunt. Uh, Russia's Phobos Grunt space probe with 22 pounds of radioactive cobalt-57 on board fell to Earth on Sunday. The probe was launched in November to go to Phobos, a uh, moon of Mars, but, but its rocket system failed to fire onward from low Earth orbit, of course, blah, blah, blah. The Russians are saying it fell into the Eastern Pacific, but other reports, uh, like I put out, saying it fell over Brazil and into the Atlantic Ocean kind of thing, and they're still asking the question, where exactly did Phobos fall? Fukushima radiation spreads worldwide. Uh, California, Finland, Canada, Austria hit by radiation. The University of California at Berkeley detected cesium levels in San Francisco area milk above over EPA limits and even higher than they were six months ago. And we reported on this yesterday. Uh, Finnish public television says that cesium from Fukushima uh, has been detected in uh, lichens, fungi, and elk and reindeer meat in Finland. And uh, Austrian Radiation Protection and Nuclear Safety Agency confirmed a radiation cloud over east coast of Australia. And the west coast of Canada is getting hit by debris from Japan. At least some of it is likely radioactive. And uh, just the insanity. If we've got anybody on the west coast, I know Living History Schools, uh, he just put out a video where he found a one of those big um, floating, big, he called it a dinosaur egg. It was so huge. And uh, he's got a video of him just dragging the thing down the beach. Um, so it's definitely a channel to watch as, as things come in. He will, I'm sure, be out there looking for it. Huge snowstorm targets Seattle and Northwest. Uh, now is the time to stock up on toilet paper, bread, and milk. <laughs> uh, for Seattle, the Emerald City could be hit with up to two winters worth of snow in the next 48 hours. Uh, that means it's time to say goodbye to this year's wimpy winter snow, sleet, and ice are all forecast for the Pacific Northwest. In Seattle, the weather will be particularly nasty. Uh, by Thursday, the 19th, Seattle could see up to one and a half feet or uh, a half a meter of snow, according to the National Weather Service. And this is a big double front rolling through, and it's uh, just going to bring trouble for everybody. Heck, we're getting snow here in, in Iowa. Uh, but not a lot. Hurricane force winds expected to pummel central Oregon coast early Wednesday. You know, going here with this storm. Uh, for the first time since the great colossal gale of 07 and, and only the second time in its history, the National Weather Sur Service in Portland has issued a hurricane force wind warning for the Oregon coast. Uh, the warning extends from the Cascade Head north of Lincoln City, south to Florence, and out to sea 60 nautical miles, and, it, and is in effect from 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Wednesday. And this storm is no joke. Canada, snow flurries and cold weather is set to continue across Metro, Metro Vancouver. And that's about all new they have tonight. Uh, the only other thing relevant and different um, that the extinction protocol has tonight is Mexican village hit by rumors of mass suicide as severe food shortages ripple through Chihuahua. Uh, Mexico's Tarahumara Indians, legendary for their endurance and long distance running, are reeling from a devastating food shortage that caused by record freeze and long droughts, officials said. 
The Mexican Red Cross and regional and federal government agencies mobilized Monday to send emergency supplies to the mountains in the northern state of Chihuahua, where, the, where they live, uh, usually in uh, rudimentary conditions. Uh, part of the outpouring of help came after reports circulated that mass suicide of 50 or more members of the community desperate and despondent over not being able to feed their families. The report of suicide were quickly denied by state government officials, of course, but the hunger is real. Even in the best of times, they live in s substance farming of corn and beans. And uh, again, this is part of that huge drought that's been ongoing in Mexico, and uh, people are dying. And that's about all new they have tonight besides the economy and the war drums and stuff. Uh, over to the RSOE. Uh, we have uh, Paraguay's reporting drought conditions statewide. Uh, tornado reports coming out of Tennessee. Some extreme weather. Uh, Mozambique. Multiple areas uh, extreme weather. They have heavy rain and flooding and whatnot. Uh, heat wave in South Africa, the, the Western Cape, and of course the snowstorms coming in, uh, reports out of Oregon, uh, Washington State, Quebec, Ottawa, more tornadoes in Indiana, a couple of reports of tornadoes in Indiana, and that's about all new they have tonight over to the nuclear stuff uh, apparently the the PBS Fukushima special was a complete whitewash uh, PBS Frontline's Miles O'Brien cheeseburgers and french fries are a much bigger risk to our health than cesium Japan's 20 millisieverts per year for evacuation is extremely low <laughs> uh, wasn't before this big disaster one millisievert per year the limit ABC official says Japan betrayed its own people over radiation dangers. Government actions akin to murder. We didn't think of that, says Science Ministry. U.S. Today official concerns over uncontrolled nuclear reaction risks inside plutonium facility near Portland, Oregon. Strange, Japan lawmakers tweets photo of device used to sample Fukushima fallout, a baking pan out on a sidewalk. And we've got some more uh, earthquakes centered around the Fukushima plant, uh, magnitude 4, and uh, multiple little earthquakes. Manachi, highly radioactive gravel used at local schools. Anger and anxiety is spreading. They cannot stop the cover-up and the insanity that is the Japanese government over this. NPR newly leaked report warns plutonium levels at Hanford may be much higher than claimed. The Columbian River is at, is at stake. All of that area and its vitalities, says the Washington governor. Gunderson, Fukushima risk underestimated. 5% of young girls will get cancer living in 20 millisieverts per, per year for 5 years. Actually worse than that. Hot particles not included and only counts cancers, not other effects. And they are not register the internal radiation that these people are ingesting in their food. They're breathing hot particles in the air. And uh, time will tell. And they cannot, they cannot hide this. New York Times, coal producers, more radiation and deaths than nuclear. PBS special on Fukushima could have used George Monbot or the like. And, uh, and it goes on and on. Radio show about tonight's fault front line on Fukushima. Perhaps, I don't want to say whitewash, may lead to people downplaying dangers. Miles O'Brien was interviewed, and they have an audio of that. And, of course, they have a couple other um, stories going on. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks a lot.